Hi everyone, how's it going? Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, a hack, let's say. A hack dealing with your email and how to get less spam or possibly no spam if you are working as a freelancer, chances are, I mean, if you're working anywhere, chances are you're getting a lot of spam. I mean, let's face it, in this day and age, you're going to get spam because there's so many things that you sign up for, whether you're online, people want your email address to sign up for this newsletter, you need your email address to order this or to get that. And when you go to a store, they want your email address. Even, you know, I go to J. Crew and they want my email address for some reason. And, you know, you see this all over the place and people are always asking for email addresses. After a while, you're going to start getting spam you start getting weird emails advertising random crap that have nothing to do with you usually they're trying to sell you something that you don't want you know it's stuff you didn't sign up for and so what happened in those cases what happened is one of the places that you gave your email address to either well if they're dishonest they sold your email address or you know it got published somewhere and or maybe you even published it some you know you put it up somewhere and so they have these i mean they have all this stuff nowadays but these bots that can go trawl and and figure out you know find all these email addresses and so they can send it to random people or i mean you never know you know someone's security j crew j crew's security might not be very good and so someone, someone was able to hack in and get a bunch of email addresses nothing against j crew i mean I, I, it just came to mind. And, you know, and why do people do this? Because then they can get access to thousands and tens of thousands or whatever of email addresses and just send a whole bunch of stuff out to them. And it's worth it to them because it costs nothing to send all these out. In fact, they usually have programs that do it all automatically. And you'll get a certain number of people that'll click on the link, that'll do this, do that, and we'll get some people to pay them money for whatever it is they're spamming you about. But for the vast, vast, vast majority of us, it's just annoying. We get these spam emails and we have to delete, 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 and we unsubscribe, we do this, do that, but that doesn't help anything. So you need to go to the source. You need to nip it in the bud. First of all is if you have your own domain, because I know a lot of you out there have your own domain, and so I want to address that one first. And the second one is if you don't have your own domain and you're using, say, Gmail, and um, and you, you want to limit the amount of spam. If you have your own domain, your name is Joe Schmo, and you, you have joeschmo.com, right? Then you make your email address joe at joeschmo.com. So what you can do when you set up your email address, and you can do this with all hosting clients, no matter what you use, GoDaddy, register, you know, this, that, and the other. You, um, you can make your email address a catch-all account. And what does a catch-all account do? Well, it makes sure to catch all the emails to your domain. So maybe your email address is joe at joeschmo.com. Maybe someone misspells your name. Instead of J-O-E, he writes J-O at joeschmo.com, in which case you wouldn't get the email. But if you have a catch-all account, you'll still get it. In fact, if someone writes to info at joeschmo.com, you'll still get it. If someone writes to contact at joeschmo.com, you'll get it. If someone writes to blah, 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 at joeschmo.com, you'll get it. You get the idea. A catch-all account means any email that's sent to anything at joeschmo.com, you'll get it. Why does this help? Why do I mention this? Well, because when you do sign up for stuff, say you're, say people at J.Crew ask you for your email address, then what you can do, once again, no offense to J.Crew, it just came to my mind, what you can do is just write jcrew at joeschmo.com or whatever you want, jcrewdowntown J. at joeschmo.com or something like that. The reason you do this is A, if they send you an email you're interested in, then you will actually get it. But B, if you start getting spammed a lot, if they spam you or if suddenly after a couple months, you get random spams from random, random spam emails from random people and you see that they're all being sent to jcrew at joeschmo.com, well then, you can decide to block jcrew at joeschmo.com and you can filter out so any e any email to that specific email address gets blocked out. This is super useful, as you can imagine, when you're getting spam. Oh, Car Del Mar. I rented a car from a company called Car Del, Del Mar. They're some car rental brokerage company. They were terrible. But, so what I did was I wrote Car Del Mar at mydomain.com. If, you, if I did get spam from them, then I would see that the spam is arriving at cardelmar at akahi.com, which is my domain. And so I could then block everything that comes directed to cardelmar at akahi.com. You can do the same thing. You have joeschmo.com, jcrew is sending you spam. You can block anything that comes to jcrew at joeschmo.com, but you'll still get all the stuff that's sent to joe at joeschmo.com. 
at uh, info at joeschmo.com, at, you know, at Macy's at joeschmo.com, you know, whatever else he signed up for. So if you have your own domain, you should get a catch-all account and use a different email address before the at sign, because that way you can control the spam later on when you get it. Now, like I said, some of you don't have your domain and you will be using one of those free email ser uh, services, usually Gmail, pretty much everyone has Gmail. So what you can do with Gmail is, once again, if you're there at jcrew and your name is joeschmo at gmail.com, what you can do if they ask you for your email address is write joeschmo plus sign jcrew, everything attached, joeschmo plus jcrew at gmail.com. And you'll still get the email. It'll come to your joeschmo at gmail.com but it'll also be personalized. So that way, if you start receiving spam to that specific email address, you can always just block that specific email address and you won't get any more spam, at least not from that source. So this is just a way in which you can decrease spam. Unfortunately, because if you start getting spam to your main email address, you know, you have to delete them one by one, block them one by one. But if your email address has been sold out there somewhere, you're going to have tons and tons of people with your email address emailing you. But if they have an email address that you can block altogether, I mean, then it's great because then you can block that email address and go on with your day. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you found this useful and I hope it made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, but this is something that I think all of you should be doing with your email and that way you can just limit the amount of spam you get. Nothing's 100%. Some spam always comes through in this day and age. It's pretty much impossible, but it really does limit the amount of spam you get. And you can also filter out any spam you get right at the source so you don't have to bother with it for years and years and years. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please don't forget to click like because that always helps. And don't forget to subscribe for more emails that can help you out as a freelancer, as a freelance translator. And also if you do subscribe, if you want to be notified when you get a new, um, when a new video is out, then after you subscribe, you can click on the little bell next to the subscribe button. And that way you'll be notified and you don't have to check to see if and when a new video is out, but you'll know right away when there's a new video out and hope, and there'll be more tips and tricks for all of you freelancers out there. So that's pretty much it. And I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.